some logistical information. When the ceremony is finished, the graduates will travel directly to the auxiliary gym, turn in their gowns, and pick up their diplomas. Once the graduates have left the stadium or the gym, you are free to depart. Thank you so much for attending the commencement exercises for the class of 2024. Hopefully it doesn't rain inside the gym. <laughs> Members of the Board of School Trustees, Dr. Schaefer, faculty, family, and friends, good evening, and welcome to the commencement exercises for the class of 2024. At this time, would you please stand as the students, the class of Danville Community High School of 2024, enter for their graduation ceremony. Mr. Yoder, if you would, please. As is the tradition at Danville Community High School, the senior class president will now present the class for this ceremony. At this time, if Calla Harold will come, please come forward for the presentation. Calla is the daughter of Tyson and Shelley Harold. Her siblings are Liam and Reese. She has been a class officer all four years, is a member of National Honor Society, and has played volleyball and tennis for four years. Calla enjoys volunteering in the kids' ministry at Westbridge Church and is active in the youth group. This fall, Calla will be attending Cedarville University to study nursing with a minor in missions. Sorry. Welcome, everyone, to the Class of 2024 graduation ceremony. I am Calla Harold, your 2024 class president, and I want to thank everybody for being here. I especially want to thank all of our families and friends for being here today to celebrate. Thank you for teachers and staff members who have helped us learn and grow over the past 13 years, even if we've sometimes proven to be difficult. For the past 13 years, we've all gotten to know each other quite a bit. It all started in kindergarten when we all went on the Sioux field trip together and were put in pairs to walk around. From then on, we've had countless dress-up days and celebrated the 100th day of school together. In third grade, when we went to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, we got to kiss the bricks. In fourth grade, we played infection during recess, and then came middle school. We had a science fair in fifth grade and a Thanksgiving feast in sixth. My personal favorite, though, was having WTTV and a turkey ended up in the ceiling. 
there have been some definite challenges that our class has faced, like when somebody accidentally set off the intruder alarm in eighth grade. I remember we all had to hide in the corners of our classrooms, and I thought for sure everybody was going to die. Or when we had COVID our first year of high school, and we didn't get to have a normal experience. And then being yelled at as freshmen by the seniors to cheer at football games. But more recently, senior assassins, which if everybody didn't know, we've been running around Danville and most of Hendricks County trying to get each other out with water guns for the past three weeks. I believe that we even got a shout out on Danville Chatter, which is a high accomplishment here in Danville. <laughs> as you can see, we have been, we've been a pretty tight knit group from the start. I've noticed especially these last two years of high school how close everybody has gotten with one another. I remember as a kid asking my teacher how many years I had until I graduated, and when she told me 11 years, I thought it could not come soon enough. Now, here we are and it's actually 2024. When you're little, you think that you have all the time in the world to be a kid, and so many of us wish we could be adults and make our own decisions. But now that the time is here, I bet not all of us want to make these decisions that decide our future, and I bet we wish we were all kids again. So as we all go out this year and on to our next journey, I want us to take a step back and realize that even though Danville's a small town and most of us want to leave, it honestly has built who we've become, even if, even if we don't want to admit it. So seniors, thank you for the past 13 years and congratulations to everybody for getting here today. Thank you for finishing high school strong and let our graduation celebration begin. At this time, we will begin the valedictorian and salutatorian speeches. Our salutatorian for the class of 2024 is Kerrigan O'Brien. <laughs> Kerrigan is the daughter of Casey and Kelly O'Brien and the sibling of Lily and Brody O'Brien. Throughout high school, Kerrigan was involved in Danville's tennis, golf, and volleyball teams. She was the president of National Honor Society, a student leader for FCA and an officer in BPA. She was also a member of the National Technical Honor Society, FFA, and Spanish Club. Outside of school, Kerrigan is the leader of Westbridge Church's high school worship band and volunteers in the kids' ministry at church. Kerrigan loves to spend her time hanging out with friends, being active, playing piano, singing, and reading. She is headed to Cedarville University in the fall to major in molecular, molecular biology in order to eventually go to medical school and study cardiothoracic surgery. Ecclesiastes 3.1 says, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. All of our lives, the time has been for us to be together. Since kindergarten, we've been in a season of life where we've spent almost every day together, attending school and making memories. Most of us have truly grown up together. We had fun in our elementary days of recess and field days. We were there to see the awkward phases of middle school where we got to experience school sports for the first time and thought standing in the grass during football games made us cool. And for the past four years, we've walked alongside each other through high school while we try to figure out how to be adults and grow into who we want to be. However, now it's time for a new phase. We're headed into a season of our lives that's going to be full of unique experiences, new people, and unknown territory. We'll discover independence and responsibility we've never known, but we're also going to discover the joy of life in the real world. Right now, we're in a season of lasts. The last game, the last dance, and the last day. Graduation's the last step before we're truly adults. However, then we'll be headed into a time of exciting firsts. This year has flown by. I feel like it was just a couple weeks ago that my friends and I were trying to fathom the idea that we were finally seniors. While it felt so quick and also felt like it would never come, it's finally here. This year was full of bittersweet moments, from countless Friday night football games to being regional champions for basketball from homecoming to prom, and from powder puff to senior assassin where emotions and tensions were running high. 
leading us to trust no one and the entire town of Danville to turn into mass chaos. Up until this point, we've always been in the same phase of life, a lot of us since elementary school. But now it's time to move on. While we will cherish the memories we've made up until this point, we're going to make so many new memories in the years to come. And don't worry, we'll see each other around Danville, because let's be honest, nobody truly leaves Danville. As you move on, I hope that you all can move into seasons of success, joy, and love. While you should never forget where you grew up or who you grew up with, high school is just one small phase of our lives, and there are so many more amazing things to come. I'm grateful to have known all of you and wish you the best of luck with life. Thank you. Our valedictorian for the class of 2024 is Cameron Gibson. Cameron is the daughter of Jason and Casey Gibson and has a little sister named Tyler. While at Danville, Cameron was involved in FFA, NHS, Hope Squad, Spanish Club, and played on the girls' soccer team. Her hobbies include reading and gardening. After high school, Cameron will be going to Purdue to major in biology through the John Martinson Honors College. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the Danville community, thank you for being here today. I'm Cameron Gibson, and throughout my high school experience, I've been told I need to relax or not take things so seriously. I've been told I shouldn't work so hard on something that doesn't affect me that much. And I'll be the first to tell you that me stressing about every little thing isn't something anyone should aspire to do. And I definitely need to work on it. But I would encourage everyone to live by the Bible verse that I apply to everything in my life. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working, with the, working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving, Colossians 3, 23 through 24. I am standing on the stage giving this speech right now because this verse guides how I live my life. Now you all have worked extremely hard to be here today, and I want to congratulate all of you on this amazing accomplishment. No matter what you are doing in the next stages of your life, whether you are going into the military, the workforce, or college, I hope and encourage you to continue this hard work. Don't just go through the motions of your new life. Strive to do your best in everything you do. I also wanted to take this time to thank the teachers and staff of the Danville Community School Corporation. I haven't had all of the teachers sitting here today, but I do want to thank every teacher that has adopted this mindset of working hard in everything you do. It may not seem like it all of the time, but you are truly appreciated. Your hard work and dedication for your students has allowed for my and many other students' love of learning. I also want to take the time to thank the support systems in my life. Mom, you are my guidepost for everything. You are a great role model and you support me in everything I do. Thank you. Dad, you have shown me how to be dedicated and work hard while also allowing me to expand my knowledge of terrible dad jokes. Thank you. Thank you to my grandparents and my uncle who have endless love for me and tell me I can do anything I put my mind to. I will never forget those Friday nights and Saturday mornings that will always bring me joy when I look back on them. I also want to thank my little sister for encouraging me every day by coming into my room and telling me every morning to get an A++ on my test today. Every day that was something I looked forward to and I worked hard so I could tell her, yes, Tyler Grace, I did get an A++ on my test today. And finally, I want to thank all of my friends I've made in high school, but specifically my best friend Maggie, who has stuck with me since freshman year and has been there every step of the way. To end, I want you all to remember your time in high school, learn from your mistakes, remember the fun times, try to forget the embarrassing moments. Even though we all complained about homework, high school is an important time of our lives, and I encourage you to take the good and the bad to guide you through your future endeavors. Congrats again, class of 2024. I, I wish you all the best.
At this time, could all the veterans please stand? As we are about to recognize those students entering the military, all of us want to thank you for your service and efforts to protect the freedoms we enjoy. The decision to join the military is not one that is made easily. Three students from the class of 2024 have made the commitment to serve our country. As a courtesy to these honored students, I ask the members of our audience, please hold your applause until all the names have been read. Stephen John Subak, United States Air Force, please stand. Subak, sorry, Stephen. Austin Michael Miller, United States Marines and Ryan Matthew Oliphant, United States Air Force. Thank you. On behalf of everyone here tonight, we salute you and we are proud of your dedication and commitment to protect and serve our country. Thank you and Godspeed to you and your families. As we gather today to celebrate the achievements of the graduating class of 2024, we also pause to remember a cherished member of our school who left us too soon. Two years ago, we lost Kaylin Blair, a beloved student whose presence continues to be deeply missed. Though she is not here to walk across the stage with her classmates, Kaylin remains forever a part of our school family. In honor of her memory, let us observe a moment of silence reflecting on the impact she had on our lives and the light she brought into our hearts. As we do so, let us take a moment to appreciate the flowers adorning the stage directly in front of the podium as a symbol of remembrance for Kaylin and all the joy she brought into our lives. Thank you. Before we begin the final portion of tonight's ceremony, we would like to recognize the Danville Community School Corporation Board of Trustees. Their guidance as the governing body has helped all teachers and administrators from kindergarten to 12th grade design schools where each child has the opportunity to be successful. Thank you for your efforts. Before we present the diplomas, we would like to acknowledge that the students in this year's graduating class have earned over $1.8 million in scholarships. We congratulate you on these outstanding achievements. I would now like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Tracy Schaefer, who will present the diplomas. This is a very important announcement. During the presentations of diplomas, our graduates, the students in the room, request that the audience please hold their applause until the last student's name has been read so that the announcement of names can be heard by everyone in this assembly. They thank you in advance for this courtesy. Fingers crossed. I might make three names. All right, row one, please stand. David Oren Anderson. Taylor Michael Arden. Thomas Christopher Averett. Kayla Elizabeth Baker. Chloe Ann Bamford. Kenzie Nicole Barker. Alexander Thomas Barnard. Emily Judith Bariga. 
Destiny Gail Basler. Micah Marie Baxter. Emmanuel Odian Demola Bayodi. Kareev Berry. Royan Ali Blewett. Amaya Lanita Booker Ewing. Andrew Wesley Boyd. Aaron Mitchell Brabeck. Sebastian Ryan Bretherick. Vanessa Lee Brewer. Christopher Dylan Bristow. Claire Elizabeth Bristow. Kaylin Annette Broviak. Aslan Michelle Brown. Braden Keith Brown. Colton Scott Buck. Xander Lucas Bumgardner. Cole Matthew Berger. Madison Vi Burroughs. Jason Marcus Burton. Courtney Raylin Bynum. Gregory Dwayne Cade Jr. Taylor Ryan Chandler. Marlene Charles. Joseph Quinton Clark. Morgan Nicole Clark. Owen August Collier. Caden Michael Collins. Maxwell Andrew Collins. Isaac Edward Cook. Braden Christopher Cooler. Antoinique Lachea Joy Cooper. Owen Lawrence Copeland. That was pretty cool. Michaela McKenzie Catello. Yeah. Braylon Harrison Crager. Stephen John Schubach. Chase Alexander Denton. Ariana Marie Duggar. Brianne Marie Duncan. Aaron Joseph Ellis. Anthony Thomas Fair. Leland Gage Fatout. Kaylin Eileen Fight. Faith Elaine Florence. Adriana Jean Ann Fox. Maya Ann French. Jacob Ryan Gentry. Cameron Jean Gibson. Gretchen Lee Leah Graves. Dakota Joseph Gracie. Ethan Scott Grunman. 
Isaiah Han, er, yes, Brayden Isaiah Han, sorry. Kaylee Renee Hammonds. Samantha Ann Hancock. Caden Allen Hankins. Blake Allen Harlan. Garrett Charles Hayes. Sierra Leanne Hedger. Jamie Elise Hefley. John Clay Henry. Calla Ray Harold. Bailey Michelle Higgins. McKenna Noel Himsel. Brendan Micah Hofert. Luke Paul Howard. Owen William Howard. Jeremiah Maurice Hattu. Margaret Sue Hudson. Braden Michael Hoopenbecker. Caleb Kurt Hummel. Dakota Lynn Hurst. Natalie Jane Ivy. Chase Matthew Jacobs. Samaya Michelle James. Keegan Riley Jarbo. Hayden Joseph King. Tanner Austin King. Jackson James Kubaki. Ariana Nicole Leahy. Evan David Lawrence. Michael David Letourneau III. Lexi K. Lofton. Haley Rena Lowe. Alexis Faith Lynch. Noid David Lynch. Savannah Raylan Malakote. Bryce Martin Maynor. Gabrielle Lynn McCullough. Garrett Lane McCullough. Shelby Ellen McGee. Aiden James McGregor. Lucas Robert McMahon. William Christopher McRoberts. Austin Michael Miller. Devin Leon Morgan. Colton John Mosley. Julia Michelle Mowry. Bonaire Mogabai. Alyssa Grace Natchke. Brandon Warner Neferdorf Jr. Matthew Jungman Nicholson. Corbin Thomas Knuckles. Kerrigan Macy O'Brien. Megan Renee O'Brien. Olawatashe Grace Odadina. Ryan Matthew Oliphant. Layla Ann Patrick. Miles Leo Harrison Patrick. Caden Lee Patterson. Gabriella Sienna Pixella.
Jenna Brianne Pike. Hunter Scott Price. Jacob Lee Lavon Purdue. Gracie May Quigley. Danielle Nicole Rasnick. Grace Isabella Redwine. Caden Michael Reed. Aubrey Madison Richardson. Lucia Marianne Riggs. John Riviera Mateos. Sean Alexander Robinson. Katrina Elise Rodriguez. Joshua Ty Roller. Trayton Joshua Ross. Sydney Ellis Rodert. Elliot Jackson Shanrock. Taylor Leanne Sharp. Braden Bradley Shelley. Julia Marie Simon. Ranveer Singh. Andrew Michael Smith. Caitlin Eileen Spears. Reese K. Speckman. Carson Owen Spurlock. Olivia Renee Steigel. Robert Mason Stewart. Adrian Cooper Stone. Teak Matthew Tanksley. Chase Marshall Taylor. Blaine Jacob Tinnery. Jonah Philip Thiemann. Addison Renee Thomas. Pasha Randanai Thua Pia. Brady David Tracy. Ian Michael Tricker. Precious Monique Ann Tucker. Alexis Ann Tuttle. Zoe Marie Diane Twig. Charles Nicholas Van Soyk. Dominic Antonio Vasquez. Zachary Allen Waits. Mallory J.C. Walden. Isabel Hayden Walker. Jordan Lachey Walters. Sydney Grace Ward. Chase Allen Walters. Yeah. 
Laura Lynn Watson. Paige Elizabeth Webb. Jocelyn Joe Wells. Ryan Anthony Wenzel. Lillian Inez Werner. Jackson Ryan Wheeler. Dylan Brock Williams. Andrew Neil Willoughby. Grayson Joel Wilson. Lee Michael Woody. Noah Joseph Wynn. Good evening, seniors and guests. In just a few moments, you'll be invited to take part in the turning of the tassel. But just before we do that, I want to remind you of the symbolic nature of this event. It represents a turning point in your life and a culmination of your experiences through life and school to date. This event validates you as an intelligent, educated member of our community, our state, and our nation. Whether you are continuing on with your schooling, going into our valued military service, enrolling in post-secondary training, or entering directly into the workforce, you now take with you the most valuable gift that a loving family and community can give to you, the gift of a quality public education. As my father used to tell me, get your education and no one can ever take that away from you. Class of 2024, please stand at this time. I would like you to take a moment to make eye contact with somebody here that's here to support you, one of your loved ones, and give them a little wave of appreciation. I invite you to remember the roles that your parents and guardians, your elementary teachers, middle school teachers, high school teachers, administrators, and the board of school trustees have played in your attainment. I want to encourage you to thank them as you have an opportunity to do so for helping you along your educational journey. And lastly, I want to congratulate you and encourage you. Each of you has accomplished much and has much more good work to do in this world. Your Danville community loves you and wishes you the very best. Class of 2024, upon the recommendation of Dr. Haman and on behalf of the faculty of the Danville Community School Corporation, by the power vested in me by the Board of School Trustees in the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you graduates of Danville Community High Schools, charge your tassel. You may process.
Want lightning fast internet speeds? Choose Endeavor. Go from slow to whoa. From last to fast. And wait to great. Endeavor Communications is bringing the fastest internet speed in Indiana to your town. So you can download huge files in a flash. Stream videos at blazing speeds. And game online faster than you thought possible. Think fast and contact Endeavor Communications today at join.weendeavor.com. Uh, again? Tortured by technology? Have no fear, Endeavor is here with Speed Geeks. Our Speed Geeks are expert technicians ready to rescue you from... The drive, the take, foul! <laughs> and it goes! Lobbing it to the back of the end zone. They're gonna say it's a touchdown! Left foot gets through. Goal for Vargas. Hamilton will score. Touchdown, Wesley Lafayette. Hemingway. Look out! Look out! The lowers the shoulder. Great answer by Lafayette. Takes home the victory. Taking down the record. Throws it deep. He's got a man and is taking it. Trying to find a lane. Walker has hit his second home run of the tournament. And it's going to be a touchdown. Your life is on the go. Now your viewing habits can be on the go. With the ISC Sports Network app, your team is at your fingertips. You can download years worth of content from the ISC Sports Network library. High school, college, special events, weekly and monthly shows where